the money and then you go to the clerk and say, I want this lodged to show that I have uh, cleared up all the months and I no longer can be regarded as a delinquent tenant. Now, if you do the first part first and then follow up with the second part, there's every likelihood that the clerk will allow it because then it gets the clerk out of trouble. Yeah? Okay. Okay, but again, the question is, when you do the financial statement, you need to list your assets and liabilities. Yes, so yes, you, you do. Would include, yes. Would you include, um, let's say they've already foreclosed on, would you include um, that debt in your liabilities? Um, yes, unless you're, unless you're conti- well, until it's been removed, technically it is uh, against your person. So, right. yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and then because when case- you when you file the sorry when you file the financial statement you're filing it for the Roman person you're not okay. filing it for the trust yeah okay okay and in a case where right. somebody has not been foreclosed on they would actually be still be listing their home as an asset on the financial statement yeah absolutely yes okay okay all right thank you for that clarification no good on you and all the best with it too I'm sorry. All the best. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, real quick, Frank, over on the chat, there's some discussion about uh, how to handle traffic uh, tickets or citations or any kind of uh, charges that may come from court. Uh, you want to yeah. cover that really quick? We we covered that a few weeks ago, and uh, maybe there's some newer folks that are on the yeah, on the phone. I will. Look. Um, If you if you handle yourself in a particular way that you don't respect others, then it's not a good thing to take something of incredible spiritual value and take it for a spin because you just like to see what happens. That is a that is a mark of disrespect. And I warn, and this is not a, a, a curse or anything, I warn anybody against thinking that ecclesiastical deeds and, and these kinds of documents are just a bit of fun like some sideshow magic and that you can just take it for a spin. If it works, it's great. If it doesn't, who cares? It's very serious. And put it this way. People in this world who destroy countries and kill millions of people are taking this seriously. So how stupid would you be if you think it's a joke? Because you single yourself out then as absolutely being incompetent. And and I assure you, if you go into this system using these tools, thinking it's a joke, and the bar see that, then the whole of their world will come down on you. And you will have no defense under Eucadia because of the disrespect. And sending an ecclesiastical deed poll in for a parking ticket is absolutely disrespectful. Absolutely. When people are facing life in prison and losing homes and children being stolen someone thinks it's a bit of a joke or they think, oh, well, I don't want to pay a parking ticket, I'll send an ecclesiastical deed. It is the absolute height of disrespect. Now they are listening, they are watching, and they're still deciding. But they certainly are taking these things with absolute serious. And I'm talking about the people that, that kill millions, destroy countries. So if you want to be one marked as a complete idiot, then behave as an idiot. But do not disrespect things and treat them lightly. This is not here for a game. This is not a game. So I'm sorry I sound so firm, but sometimes people need to remind themselves that this is not some party line where we're talking about you know, ways to uh, win a lotto. Um, we're talking very seriously about the future of ourselves, our family, and our communities. And if you don't want to be part of that seriousness, then you shouldn't be part of this at all. Go and, 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 and go back to sleep because really you're not helping if you want to take this for a joke. 
Okay? All right, thank you for addressing that, Frank. We have B Free nineteen fifty eight on the line. Question? Hello? Yes. Hi. Hi. Hi, Frank. How are you and everybody else on the line tonight? Very, Very well. good. Thank you. Good. I am the guy who called in uh, last week in reference to the uh, case in Arizona in reference to the plea bargain and the sentencing. Yes. I know I had an update that um, the case was um, continued for a mitigation hearing, and I have a, a three part, three questions in reference to that. Um, I'm going to be going back on the 14th for this mitigation and to uh, follow up on the actions that you suggested that I took last week. Here, here's my um, question. Can The first question, can a written statement to the effect that the things that I did in reference to the plea and um, it was out of compliance and out of necessity. Can that can a written statement be sent in prior to me making the oral statement when I go back on the fourteenth, or should it just be the oral statement? No, no. The strength is both. This is what you so do. I, you make two copies, and okay. you do it as a as a as a um, um, a withdrawal of consent. Okay. Uh, you call it a, call it an affidavit of withdrawal of consent. So, as an affidavit, it is your it is a solemn oath on paper. That's what an affidavit is: solemn oath on paper, notarised and witnessed by the clerk of the court. And you lodge it on the day of your meeting, your hearing. Okay. okay. And at that, you effectively lodge with the clerk that you have withdrawn the consent of your previous plea bargain, uh, and then you bring a copy of that into the court to give to the judge because the clerk will not be giving it to the judge. They'll be freaking out. So when you go to court, what you'll say to the judge, uh, your worship, um, uh, but, you know, before we continue, may I speak? Yes, you may. Um, I, I wish to alert your worship that I have, as of this morning, lodged uh, a formal affidavit of withdrawal of consent of my previous uh, plea bargain um, uh, onto the record of the court that that previous statement uh, was made under duress, um, that I did not uh, consent, uh, that out of necessity for fear of my life, uh, I, I said certain things, uh, and uh, given that, I have now formally withdrawn any consent, and here is a copy. All right? Okay. Okay, thank Jack, you. Do you enough to, to move on? Yep. Yes, definitely. And the second, okay. the second is, I wanted to uh, let you know that I did send the EDP. I sent it off yesterday, registered mail with uh, the as the instructions um, indicated. And yep. should I be sending an EDP into into the court prior to me going back, or no? No, no. I think you would be muddying the waters here. What I would okay. do is have a copy of those documents including your life-born record. Okay. Um, but because you're at the tail end of the situation, it's a bit hard to wind back the clock, right? Yes. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to confuse things. The, 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 the issue at the moment is that you, you, you've already got to this point. Now, you can negotiate on the sentencing and you can withdraw the plea bargain. And that gives you maximum room to simply say, um, I don't agree, uh, I respectfully decline your offer, your worship, until okay. you get down to 100 hours or whatever the ultimate penalty is. Yeah? Okay, thanks for that. And the last question, well, the last question and statement is, I was, uh, my birth event was in Washington, D.C., the, the, yep. the mother of all corporations. Does, yep. does the, the fact that my birth event happening in, in the District of Columbia, Columbia have any different impact over or? No. Okay. Okay, that's, um, those are my questions, and I uh, give it back to you. Thank you a lot. All right. Good on you. Good on you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, questions from the chat real quick. Will we ever collect anything to deposit in the trust account? Will we ever, sorry, Terry? 
Will we ever collect anything to deposit in the trust account? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the purpose of the of the account is is to trade in commerce. It's it's allowing you to convert ultimately sovereign currency of the societies into the feed currencies of their system and to have payments put into it and to use their their services. Absolutely. Um, will they will they relinquish um, what they have put in the SESTA KVs and ultimately hand it across <laughs> at this point? Um, it seems that the entire minions below the level of uh, provincial you know, provincial generals of the Jesuits and uh, and the papacy, the answer is no so far. But um, what we are doing is we're proving that the system is, you know, devoid of honour and we are with honour. So, yes, the short answer is yes. There will be lots of things you put into your account. Okay, thank you, Frank. We have Ford Man 1 on the phone line with another question. Yes, Frank, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi. All right. Um, a few more questions for you. Um, on the uh, SS4 form, yep. um, I, I, I missed that part of what you're saying, what to do about that. Um, you said still, you, like whether the question is 7A and 7B, was to go ahead and put that information in, and it would be okay or not? Okay. I, I, want, it, I want everyone on this call uh, and anyone that uh, listens to this call. Real, real quick, to... Ford Man 1, you're really uh, possibly too too close to your phone you're, we're yeah. hearing you breathing into the phone which which a fast um that will distort frank's answer if you want to mute your phone while he's answering and then unmute i'll leave you unmuted otherwise i'm gonna to have to mute you in between okay. questions okay um based on the conversation i had with rod tonight ron i should say sorry Ron, um that i would like everyone to give us 24, 48 hours to review the way that the EIN SS4 application is set because based on what we discussed tonight, it could well be better and with better results that the name on the SS4 application is, for example, Frank O'Collins Trust as opposed to Trust Number blah, blah, blah. And that will change the nature of some of the questions and answers. So can you give me a few days just to refine that before you try and put that in? Yeah? Yeah, that, that's okay. no problem. Um, All right. Also, too, um, once you get the IN number and you go like the bank situation and set up the account, being that the IN number is for foreign trust, uh, really, even if it was a regular account, nobody should bother anything um, you know in that account or take anything out of that account um, yeah look yeah and, and uh, yeah I mean the thing is um, you've got to start somewhere in this process and what we're trying to do is do this in honor the system knows that we're trying to do it in honor we're not playing games we're not trying to find magic doors we're trying to start and, and get to a happy medium here so it's like it's like kind of two gunslingers that kind of find an accommodation to sort of both drink at the same bar without shooting at each other. So that's the kind of dance that we're playing at the moment. They're showing an element of respect to us in the way we're dealing, and we should show a, a, certainly a deal of respect back to them in the fact that they've been quite polite so far. So give us a few days to, to work on that and, and come back, and when we do it'll be done with a proper explanation of why this is a better approach, all right? So I hope I answered those two questions for you. And thanks for the feedback. Thank you. Okay, okay. Um, one more thing. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's very hard to hear you. I'm sorry. Very hard. Okay. I just recently went to my court and found out there were two income tax liens on me, one from the state and one from the federal. Yeah, yeah. And... and I'm thinking once I do the default on the Bruce Tiffy, that should wash all that away, correct? Um, again, i sorry, it's almost impossible to hear your questions and comments. I heard that you have two income uh, uh, liens against you. I heard that you issued a deed poll, but I couldn't hear the last part of your comment. Sorry. Okay, um, I found out there's two liens against me, one from the state and one from the federal. Um, and I was wondering, once I do the deed poll on the Bruce Tiffy, that should wash the, the lien situation away, correct? 
Yeah, I, I, again,